Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how you can enter and track your hydration using the Garmin Connect app on your Apple iOS device. Now you can do this on Android and you can do this on the Garmin Connect website, but in this video I'm going to be using an Apple device. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on Garmin Connect app. We're going to open it. By default, it should take us into our My Day. If not, at the bottom left-hand side of the menu bar, you should see My Day. You'll want to go there. Now, it doesn't matter whether you've got an expanded view or a collapsed view. What you're going to be looking for is the Add button next to Hydration. The one thing I will recommend is if you're wanting to see Hydration in your My Day, you'll want to click on Edit My Day and make sure that it's showing. You'll notice in mine, I've got it hidden down here as a card. So I'm going to click the plus button next to it so that we can see it in my day so that once we enter values we'll be able to see it. I'm going to click save and now we're ready to enter our hydration. I'm going to click the plus button next to hydration. This works very similar to adding weight or activities to your account. It's going to take you into the individual day that you're looking to add uh, hydration for. You can also look at the top and you can look at the previous seven days, the previous four week period, or the previous one year. For any one of those you can also use the arrow key next to the date to look at a previous value for that given range. So for example, now I'm looking at 2019 to 2020. I can look at 2018 to 2019, so on and so forth. I can do the same thing for a seven day or a four week range or just an individual day. If I wanted to go back and look at a previous day or specific day, I can do that. So I'm gonna get back on this single day. It's very easy. All you're gonna do is you're gonna use the plus button to add hydration or you're gonna use the negative to decrease it. If you scroll to the bottom, you'll also see some quick ads that you can set up. For example, I've got a two ounce quick ad, I've got a one cup quick ad, and I've got a two cup quick ad. Now, if I wanted to adjust what those values are, I can click on the three dots in the upper right hand corner, choose settings, and at the bottom, you'll see your drinking containers and you can choose whatever value you want. So I'm gonna go to container number one. It's currently set at two ounces. I can change that to a value of cups. I can increase or decrease the ounces, or I can change it to milliliters. The one thing that's a little bit frustrating is you can't enter a decimal point. So if you've got a container, for example, that's like 16.9 fluid ounces, the closest you can do is basically convert it to milliliters. So for example, I'm gonna do 500 milliliters. And then I'm gonna save it for that value. You can also change your daily goal by clicking on the daily goal value and changing it to whatever you want. So I'm gonna change mine to 120 just for purposes of the video, then I'm gonna click save. Also under daily goal, you've got the option to auto increase it. When you've got auto increase on, it'll basically look at your activities and how much water you're losing and then it'll increase your daily goal based on what you've done as far as activities. You can change the units from ounces to cups or milliliters depending on what you want your goal to be in. Once you've got it entered, all you're gonna do is click on the back button to go back to your day, and you'll see that the hydration has been entered for the given day. Very simple, I hope the video makes sense and helps out. If you've got any questions, post them in the comments. Be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.